This is Alex from A3J Group here to talk about an undocumented feature in automation scripts within Maximo. Automation scripts provide a mechanism for injecting small amounts of scripting code into Maximo business processes, which most of the time will alleviate the need for Java customizations to the product. Let's navigate to the System Configuration, Platform Configuration, Automation Scripts application. When we create a new automation script, we must first tell Maximo what kind of launch point we want. Launch points serve as a trigger to run our scripts. You'll see from the list that there are object-based, attribute-based, action-based, integration-based launch points um, as options to launch our scripts. If we click on the object-based launch point, you'll see that we have a few events here to choose from. These events roughly correlate to Java methods within a Maximum Business Object. So, for an example, initialize value would correlate to the init method, um, save would correlate to save method, allow object creation would correlate to the can add method. When we choose save, you'll see that we can choose from a few options here in the middle. We have the ability to add, update, or delete. However, this is a little bit misleading. This launch point, if I check the add checkbox, will only fire on the save event. It'll just pertain to newly added objects if this checkbox is checked. So what if we want to fire the automation script immediately upon the creation of a record, like the add method in Java, within a, a Maximo business object. Um, right now, there's really no way to do that through standard launch, launch points. But luckily, there is a way to do this. The trick is to create an automation script with a specifically formatted name, object name.new. So let's try an example. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click the Create Script option. Um, and let's say that your users have a requirement to default the line type of a PO line to different values based on the PO type that has been selected at the header level. Specifically, if the PO type is serve, then the line type of a PO line should default to service. Otherwise, it should default to item. So what we're going to do here, and this is the, the entire trick right here, is simply to name the script PO line dot new. What this will do is it will fire immediately upon creation of a new PO line, the script that's in the source code below. And we can replace PO line with any object in Maximo, such as work order, asset, locations, etc. So I have my script here. And I can copy that script into my source code give it a description. I'm going to leave the script language as Python and the log level at error, and obviously leave the active checkbox. So what the script down here is doing is first getting the, the owner record, which in this case should be a PO. We're checking to make sure that the owner is actually valid and based upon POs before we move forward. Uh, we're getting the PO type into a variable called PO type, and we're checking to see that that PO type is serve. If it's serve, we're going to set the line type of the PO line to service. Uh, we have an implicit variable here called MBO, which we'll get in the script, which is representative of the newly created record. So in this case, it's a PO line. Going to go ahead and click Create, and the automation script was created successfully. So next step is to test this script out. So what we're going to do is go to the purchase orders application and create a new purchase order. I'm going to say testing purchase orders. Um, if I leave the PO type as standard, come over here to PO lines and click new row, you can see that I have my line type is item. However, if I come back here and change the PO type to service, come back here and click new on P 
PO lines, you'll see that the line type comes in a service. So you'll see that, that that's a, a direct result of our automation script firing, and that's how we can um, launch or, or trigger an automation script immediately upon creation of a record in Maxima. That's it for now. Thanks.